Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another film study. Ah, uh, let's do that again. Damn it, Robbie. <laughs> God damn. Well, I forgot. Film studies. Oh man, it, you already know Gifton. We like to kick these off really nice here. Yes, We're sure. going to be talking about the new Patriots editions, John U. Smith, Ooh. Hunter Henry, Ooh. and to top it all off, we got Nelson Aguilar and how they can make a difference in this Patriots offense in this next year. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Let's get into it. Let's introduce them in the right way. The newest tight end to the New England Patriots, John U. Smith. What is it that stood out to you? the most about him the first thing that popped out when i was watching him on film was his speed now his speed was the was the biggest thing especially for a tight end he's 6'3 248 pounds Ooh, yeah. but that type of size this type of of speed that you see and you will see in this upcoming film right here but i just think that that's something to really look out this guy is literally just going to be this uh kind of like an x factor when it comes to receiving tight ends I know we were talking about this a lot off air that uh, he's the new Aaron Hernandez for the Patriots. Big receiving tight end, big body, great speed, and you just got to throw it to him, and he's going to make a great effort to catch. I mean, to see a tight end who is that big in height, weighing 248, damn near 250, and his ability to get open through play actions like this, it's insane because, like, not a lot of— the tight ends in the older generation of football days were nowhere near the new tight ends that we have now today. Like, it's fucking insane. Yeah, and like we were saying, this guy is a receiving tight end. You know what I mean? Like, like he can definitely set those blocks, and we'll talk about that going forward. But this guy is seems like he has the skills to be a purely effective receiving tight end. 100%, bro. I couldn't agree with you anymore, man. So we got right here a play action. He motions. They fake it to Derrick Henry. Oh. Makes his little block right there. Beautiful. And look at that. Nice. Can't nobody touch him. He Off got his ass cooked. To the race. He got cooked. Hey, you didn't He's go getting down cooked. Like that, huh? Look he at him. As you can see, you know, one of the ways that he was able to be really effective on the Titans was that they have Derrick Henry, right? Right. They're going to have to do a lot of run blocking. Some guy that's going to be setting blocks, uh, play in, play out. So, mm hmm. This guy is not the most effective run blocking type of tight end. You know, he's going to be able to set those edges, uh, hold his block, but he's not going to be uh, pancaking anybody no. or or really setting, uh, you know, a difference at the line. But he is going to take on his assignment. Yes. And that's all the Patriots want, right? Of course. But with his body style, he can definitely get better. We talked about the same thing. Uh, his ability to just get on the edge and set it. <clears throat> excuse me and just set a screen and just basically show his dominance pretty much that like he's not no little dude he's yeah. gonna do whatever it has to take to win yeah. and i like that he's a gamer yes he, true gamer and that's that sounds like the patriot way to me so yep. let's go ahead and take a look at these uh next two clips here so this first run play here he's gonna be running off to the left as you can see he's gonna be holding off number 28 he's gonna be chasing derrick henry not be able to make that tackle. beautiful hold yeah beautiful he got hold him. Oh, I like this one here. Shows his dominance, right? Motions like you're saying. to the side. Dominance. Just look at him. Just muscling his little ass like nothing. And then Derrick Henry goes for like a 12-yard gain. Another thing that I wanted to bring up mainly was his ability to uh, catch in traffic because he's so big and he's so strong to just take the hit and absorb it while also securing the ball at the same time. So that's also a great thing that I wanted to point out to you as well. Yeah, no, I, we were able to see it in a couple different plays here. Uh, take on a mismatch, take on somebody who's smaller than him. Mm -hmm. Even though 6'3 isn't the biggest when it comes to tight ends, he's definitely, like we said, a receiving type of tight end. So right. being 6'3 with that type of speed, that type of size, it's definitely a difference maker. So let's watch a couple of clips where he's able to show off that side and really get that uh, catch in traffic mm -hmm. going. So this play starts off with the play action, and then you're going to be watching him through the scene. Look at this. Boom! In between four defenders, bro. Look at that. Do catch whatever it takes to just one. secure. And then this one right here. On a linebacker mismatch, like I was saying. Uh, doing whatever he can do, doing whatever he has to do to secure the ball. Beautiful. Uh, we talked about his speed, uh, his run blocking, his uh, his size, as well as just the way that he uses his IQ when he's trying to slip through the defense for play actions. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Gifton, we mentioned something that uh, wasn't a strength of his. What were you saying about it? 
His route running could definitely use a little bit of work. Um, I know you would. I'm piggybacking off what you said a little while ago. It can be a little lackadaisical, lethargic sometimes. Um, definitely not how you would want to execute something being on the Patriots like that. Yeah, it, and that's a big thing when it comes to that type of culture. Mm-hmm. I think also that he relies on his athleticism a little right, bit right. instead of his skills when it comes to his potential on getting like those separations on the route running. So we'll go ahead and show you a quick clip. So on this one, you got Jonu Smith lining up on the right side. He's going to make a slant right here, and it's no pop, no hurry, no nothing. And Joe Hayden's able to catch up. Ugh. Now let's talk about the next one here. Woo-hoo. We're going to be talking Woo. about Hunter Henry. See, man, I really like this guy. And I like this guy for the fact that he's 6'5", bigger frame, bigger than Jonu Smith. I believe he's like 250, 255. But, I mean, his... His height and his body alone is just perfect for a tight end. Well, when we're thinking about the Patriots, you're also thinking about Cam Newton. So you're giving this guy a really good target, right. uh, somebody who's going to be able to possibly use that frame to get better at his run blocking. His run blocking that I kind of wanted to, to speak on isn't necessarily the best. Also, you're talking about his bigger frame. With that bigger frame, he actually uses it. He breaks tackles. He gets those first downs. Yep. And... He's able to kind of have this really good run after the catch because he's going up against these smaller uh, safeties or smaller DBs on the other side mm. once he gets over that first level. Right. So you got him on the left side right here, and he's going to make a post move. Look at that. Little good move. Decent speed. Great Break catch. That uh, shook that one tackle. Bigger frame, man. Check this out. Tyron Even Matthew. though he's tackled again, he's still strong no, he's, enough that he's he staying on his feet. He didn't get tackled. He stayed on his feet. Yep. Staying on his feet. Hey, by chance, did you notice where he caught that pass? Uh, I think it was like right down the middle, and then he took it all the way to the right exactly. side, right? Exactly, and that's why this guy's going to be a great addition for the Patriots, and this is why it's going to be a great addition for Cam, because Cam, who's had shoulder problems over the last couple of years and kind of turned into a dink and dunk quarterback, has a great dink and dunk tight end in Hunter Henry. He's big, he's strong, decent speed. While doing my research, he's made like four or five passes literally in the middle of the field. It's going to be great for Cam. This guy, what he does is he finds those soft zones. He makes a move on the linebackers. He sees how the defense is going to be set up, and then he attacks that soft zone. He's able to get that catch, and that's what he did in this play right now, mm-hmm. and then he's able to exhibit his bigger frame. Right. But like you were saying, a lot of the times he chooses right down the middle. Right. So I think that's a beautiful thing. So if you see right here, he's on the right side. He's just going to make that quick move. Boom. Soft zone. Boom. Where is it? Down the middle. And we're going to get into this next one here. Pretty similar. Make a move. Find that soft zone. Down the middle. It doesn't Down matter. the middle. It doesn't matter, folks. That's what he likes to do. That's his bread and butter. And then he got right here. Huh? Makes a move right in front Down of him. Down the middle. Of the- He's too big. Way too big. But and, and it's great, man. But here's the thing. Sometimes he shows a lack of effort. His big frame slows him down. Yeah, that's just going to He's not kill- moving that fast. That's going to kill him on the Patriots, bro. Because Bill is not going to take that effort at all. Next up, the newest addition to the New England Patriots from the Las Vegas Raiders, Nelson Aguilar. This guy is a real playmaker. He's fast. The fact that you have a player like that lining up on the line that can just either cut, go down the middle, or he'll burn you with speed, he's just a great playmaker. He's he's a big threat. Every, everywhere, everywhere, either side you line him up on the field, he's going to be a threat. I would have to agree with your saying that he is a home run hitter. Uh, he's going to open up the field a little bit more for those tight ends, and those tight ends are going to play a big part for him too in taking a lot of tension in the inside and hopefully getting him one-on-one coverage on the outside right there. But we can always say, though, too, that he likes to drop some passes every once in a while. And that's kind of his kryptonite. Like we were just talking about minutes and being on the Patriots. That's another thing that's really, really, really going to cut his minutes on the field in half, especially if you're getting targeted like four or five throws and you're dropping all of them. So this first one right here is going to be against the Broncos, and he's just going to blow right by this guy on the on the outside. See, on look, great speed, great route running, everything. Bam. Beautiful Under throws him a little bit, but... He's able to uh, run out a lot of people. Here he is again uh, on the outside. He's going to make a post route. Back. Just finds that open Bop. coverage. Look at mm. him. It doesn't matter. Tyron Smith should have got a flag for that one, but okay. Tyron Matthew. Damn it. 
And then we got Derek Carr going ahead and whipping it over right here. Whip, whip. Now, he doesn't uh, catch the ball, as we were talking about. He drops the ball, but he has a penalty as well. Uh, but then you look at these ones. This one. Got to secure the ball, This is man, all in one game. Run. Crucial situation. One drop. Right over the middle, like you're mentioning, or to the sideline right here. Got to secure the ball, Gotta man. Got to secure the ball right there. Look crucial again. And look at the score now. It's a little bit out of reach, but uh, if you're oh, thinking that, no. now that's game over. That's game. I guess I would conclude what we would have to say about Nelson Aguilar. Big play threat, but definitely can do a lot better when it comes to drop passes. Kind of like a one-trick pony. Get to mention the different route runs that he can do. Mostly it's going to be a, a longer type of a, a, or a deep type of thing. He had eight touchdowns last year, right? Yes, All sir. of them came either tied or... Or they were behind. So mm -hmm. he's going to be the spark. You mentioned playmaker, big yeah. play, home run hitter. He's going to be that guy for this team. And it's just interesting to see if Cam can hit him on those because they're talking mm -hmm. about his shoulders, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. Yeah. Gifton, I just want to ask you, who do you see is going to be the biggest uh, p playmaker potential guy on the Patriots this, this upcoming season? Uh, if I had to put my money on it, man, I'd probably go with Jonu Smith only because I like his speed. I like his size. I like his height. Uh, he's strong receiving tight end what a better team to be on than the patriots a place where you can hone your skills more being under bill belichick i really think that they got uh, the patriots got one with jonu smith i agree with everything that you have to say about jonu we did a lot of you know film study on him and everything uh he definitely does have a lot of potential hunter henry is gonna be my pick Ooh, okay. uh you you talked about uh how this guy jonu smith is receiving tight end can be like a Aaron Hernandez 2.0. Well, I think Hunter Henry is going to be uh, a Gronkowski 2.0 where you've seen that Chiefs play. He was able to break a tackle, mm -hmm. get into the next uh, to the next level and mm -hmm. get it to the outside. They weren't even able to tackle him. It was that they just got him out, out of bounds. Yeah. So overall, uh, I think that this guy will be able to provide certain dimensions of the same thing. I think his health is going to be a big thing about it, though. If he can stay healthy, Hunter Henry will have another – pretty good season that's productive i'm expecting the same type of numbers but you know i think that he's gonna have the biggest changes when it comes to getting those first downs those mm. crucial first downs mm -hmm. uh just being able to find those soft zones and giving them an extra tool right there yeah ladies and gentlemen that concludes another film study that we've done little film study right here about the new additional patriots leave a comment down below on who you guys would like to uh put your money on Put put some money and put your money into somebody that's gonna be popping after this year. Besides Bitcoin. Besides Bitcoin. But Dogecoin. as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this video. If you if you like the video, go ahead and shout it out like button, bust down those comments, and remember to, to support, support the you.